From your testing background, you will certainly infer that a more accurate test scenario would be validate the login functionality of flight reservation. We should have two sub scenarios. Check that user successfully logs in to the application on inputting a combination of valid alphanumeric agent name and password. Check that user log on fails on inputting invalid agent name and password. More so, a robust automation script should be able to accept and handle both valid and invalid login details. We have the sub scenarios already recorded, so the challenge is to integrate them. You may observe for both the scripts steps launch flight reservation application, enter agent name, enter password, click OK are the same. While steps checkpoint, close flight reservation application are different for positive scenario and steps output error information. Close error information window, close login dialog box are different for negative scenario. There are many ways to integrate them and one of the ways is to use if and else loop and check whether error information error screen exists after entering the agent name and password. If yes, do the steps for negative scenario. If no, do the steps for positive scenario. Let's go ahead and integrate the script in QTP. In the script for login negative, after step number 4, insert an if loop and the else. The check condition is the error information screen, which is this, exist or not. Copy this code, paste it in the check condition. followed by exist method. The exist method is applicable to almost all objects and checks whether the particular object is present on screen or not. If this result is true, perform the steps for negative scenario. I will cut and paste the steps inside the loops. I will copy the remaining steps from the positive scenario inside the else loop. I will run the script for one positive and one negative scenario. The test runs fine. Integration was a success. Apart from if and else, you can also use if else if, while when, do, case, for loops as per your requirements.